Hi everybody, thanks for joining me today on my channel. My name is Chris with Kristen's Crafts and today I am bringing you the first process video for how to kill a kit with style for October 2021. So this is using the, um, the scrap and I did remember what the collection is. It's from Colorbox. Um, I can't remember exactly which paper pad it is, but that's who the manufacturer is. And then the other paper, I believe, um, is from the Dear Lizzie Fine and Dandy. So I'm taking these three pictures. They are not the greatest. These were taken back in the mid-1990s, probably from my kids. And these were pictures of our cat who we had at the time. And this was pre-digital so you got what you got and again I think it was the kids getting a hold of my camera to take them but I did want to document her she was a good part of our family um, we ended up none of our animals were actually ever except for our dog um, all of them found us um, and versus um, us finding them so with Rascal she was my cousin's cat and one day she came to work and was crying because her brother, who had been living at home at the time with his wife, had a new baby and they thought the baby was allergic to her and so she was going to have to rehome her. So, of course, I went home, talked to my husband, and Rascal became a very important part of our family. Now, at the time, my daughter was probably around 18 months, two years old, and so trying to teach a toddler how to be nice to a cat, um, we had to teach her how to play games, and so, like, the cat would hide under one of our tables, and Erica would run through with the string, and um, Rascal would jump out and chase the string. So, you know, it was one of those um, pets that, you know, came into our lives at a perfect time, and I just want to document that. So I went ahead and I'm kind of doing a one third, two third. Now you'll notice I took the green and I covered almost, almost all the bottom half of that heart paper. And again, because these were coming from the end of a paper pad, and not that I don't like the heart paper, but I just found it hard to use. I'm okay with covering it up. I have tons of paper and um, I just want to get things used and in the album versus in a pile on the shelf. So I put the photos of the cat on that paper that kind of looks like a piece of fruit. And with it cut small, you can barely tell what the bit, that paper is. I took some of the washi tape in the red and the pink hearts, put that up at the, each of the top and the bottom. And I did run two strips of the washi tape between the center fold of it. Um, I find that when it's a little transparent, the two layers helps to um, cover it up. Now you can see here that these um, project pad um, word phrases are awful. The paper is so thin and it's so hard to manipulate. I futzed with these for the longest time. They are still not straight. The word best after I moved that do this last shift are still not perfect, but I'm done. Um, again, this is pictures from 1995 that I'm just getting in my book. They're important, but you know what? it's it's not going into a magazine um so it gets the job done i'm happy with it but yeah they are awful so i think if i can get some of these done this month i'll be thrilled and i don't know if i'll even keep them afterwards they're just too thin so now i'm going into the the photo box lid that i have all of my embellishments stashed in and i'm really trying to find some items to pull out so i grabbed that little envelope with the flowers peeking out i did go into my stash where i have my pet stickers and i grabbed out these little cat stickers so i have the one of the cat laying down along with the dotty about flare that was in my box i grabbed one of the um, cameras that I fussy cut out and added a little plant. Um, to me, it just represented being at home and we have house cats. So I thought that worked. Grabbed another Dottie Bot flare and put that down below with um, the other cat. It will get shifted around a little bit. Now I grabbed these puffies that are also in my pet stash um, and I'm going to put a couple of those puffies on. 
I was able to get one of the banners on that says you make my heart smile. And here's where I'm putting these um, meow um, puffy stickers. I forget which manufacturer made these. I believe it's my mind's eye. And I'm just getting three of those on. And the last thing I'm going to do is, oh, I'm going to do a couple more things. So I'm going through and I found this little butterfly that I'm going to put up above. And then I'm going to grab out a bunch of the hearts and I'm going to glue the hearts down. And I'm just grabbing out the reddish colored ones and the pink ones so that they match my um, background paper. And you just see I'm kind of shifting things just around a little bit to make them uh, fit in the clusters just a little bit nicer. And But for, for the most part, this was a quick, easy layout. I think I did the whole thing in like 20 some minutes with it all put together. The last thing I'm going to do is go into my stash and I'm going to pull out some of my um, different thickers that I had. I really wanted to use the gold because I thought that would pull the gold from the best friend um, sticker up above. But then I realized I was missing A's. So then I was going to switch over to the P. And before I did it, I realized I could turn the V over and it looks perfect, especially with this font. You can't tell that they weren't an A. So I have spelled out um, her name, which was Rascal. And that is going to be it for my layout. So I want to thank you so much for stopping by and checking it out. I'll have the links to everyone who's playing along this month in the description below. And here's some close-ups for you. Have a great day and we'll see you later.